Hi all, uh, <laughs> pardon the mess again, uh, it's just me, uh, came, work, came uh, from work uh, doing a few projects. Uh, I do apologise not to make uh, videos recently but I've been busy at work. So here's uh, one for a few of you uh, uh, <laughs> that uh, say the coyote talks bullshit, uh, they're gonna scratch their heads and uh, well, I think we're all gonna scratch our heads and I'm gonna put a few questions on the table and so on. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna talk about uh, choice of antennas. Uh, what is the best antenna <laughs> and resonance uh, and uh, coax uh, I'm only saying this because uh, I'm gonna explain how I do things and there is a reason uh, why I do things that way is uh, experience from others all o over the years uh, I've gathered uh, a bit of experience and some of them there might be myth uh, some uh, <laughs> there might not be uh, but I've, I've got a reason for what I'm saying uh, some of you are going to say coyote <laughs> you're talking bullshit right first of all uh, choosing your antenna I think <laughs> choosing an antenna is a matter of uh, personal choice some of them they can be very large some of them uh, they can have multiple uh, radials or ground planes, you know, it's it's, it's not really <laughs> uh, they're not really stealthy, but it's a matter of choice. Uh, some uh, some of uh, you don't choose antennas because they're very noisy. Um, uh, uh, later on, I'll say I, I I I quite enjoy a very noisy antenna, and I'll tell you the reasons. And we're gonna uh, talk about. Um, <coughs> basically what I do to my coax you know I calculate my coax to the antenna and this is the coyote style uh, or <laughs> I'm not saying it's my style let's just call it the coyote pack because I call everybody on the <laughs> the CV uh, a, a coyote it's a, a pack of coyote so this will be the coyote pack style uh, right, first of all, choice of antennas. Uh, some people they say I don't like the antenna because it's noisy. Uh, like I said, it's a matter of choice. Uh, the uh, the 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 antenna that you choose is is what fits you. Uh, don't go by if it's noisy or not because I'm gonna explain. <clears throat> if an antenna is noisy it's because it's very resonant and by being very resonant <clears throat> you will have uh, a lot of gain on the frequency that you, you are and i'll prove this very easy we're going to use the tune button i'm going to uh, use an antenna that is not uh, resonant in nowhere uh, it's a multiband <clears throat> and uh, i'm not sure if you can see the needle properly uh, right uh, when I've pressed the key, you'll hear a click for the tuner and you'll see the antenna changing. And it's high. And the tuner, I'm gonna turn it off and it's lower. Uh, it's flickering because of the static, but as soon as I tune an antenna and makes it resonant and you'll hear a click, it picks up more noise. It's not picking up more noise, it's picking up the signal. So a resonant antenna that picks up loads of signal will pick up loads of noise. Because it's actually resonant on that frequency, it will pick up all the noise and signal on that frequency. Uh, the secret of an antenna is not what you buy on how many uh, pounds, dollars, whatever you spend on an antenna is a matter of choice and the secret is the location <clears throat> higher it goes better it performs the ideal will be uh, one one length off the floor <clears throat> uh, 
another thing uh, that I'm going to put to the table and a few of you are going to scratch your heads and probably say Coyote uh, is talking bullshit uh, I give you a formula uh, let me try to uh, I think you can see it on the screen uh, if you're on a computer please freeze the formula and read the for and um, try to uh, put the formula in uh, a paper or so but that's our cut my coax uh, the formula uh, is it's an old uh, myth I don't know not sure if it's a myth or not but it's uh, radio users radio amateurs in the 70s 80s they used to use this formula to calculate uh, the coax and <clears throat> Uh, so it will be 299.8 it's uh, the speed of light it will be 299.8 thousand uh, ki kilometers per second uh, divided divided by the frequency times the velocity factor times what you want to achieve uh, since uh, I, I, I don't want big waves I'll calculate in quarters uh, of wave um, so it will be times uh, 0.25 for a quarter uh, or times 50 for F or times 1 for uh, full wave I'm just gonna do a quick um, calculation here uh, an example so let me hold on let me open the uh, calculator so it would be <clears throat> if i want to, i use all my uh, antennas uh, set up for triple five so it's 27 550 or 500 will be okay so according with the, this formula if you want to tune well the antenna with the, uh, well i'm saying <laughs> yeah i'm saying to you guys uh that it can be a myth but this is uh if you got a good explanation for this uh, people they used to use it on uh, on on the 70s and 80s and it would be uh two or uh two and nine nine point Eight, or uh, divide it uh, by twenty-seven point five. Uh, divided by uh, times velocity factor. So I use mini eight. Uh, velocity f factor will be uh, eighty percent. I think it is. I'm not sure. But uh, don't, <laughs> don't go by what, uh, what I say. So it will be times 80. So it's a percentage. Uh, and uh, that's the velocity factor. And then times quarters of wave. So it will be times... Uh, times 25.25. Equals to, so <clears throat> if I'm uh, doing uh, a whip in a quarter of length, it'll be two two meters, uh, 2.1. I'm I'm not sure if I've done uh, everything right. I think I've done. Let me ratify. One second, or uh, uh, let's clear. So it'll be two nine nine point eight times no divided divided by frequency 27.5 times or uh, times sorry I'm, I've got the phone in front of me times <clears throat> velocity factor which is 80% for mini 8 I think is 66 for RG58 and 66 for 213 i'm not sure it depends on the cable that you're using so check velocity factor so i'm gonna do point uh 80 for mini 8 
<coughs> equals eight. Uh, that's uh, the wave of propaga propagation or propagation uh, in the cable times or uh, times point 0.25 equals yeah it, it gives me the uh, same so a quarter a quarter of the length of the propagation of the wave in your cable will be two point one so imagine if you are doing um, for example your mobile whip uh, up to the mag mount or up to the antenna mount you would multiply it by this quarter of waves ideally you want a full wave but a full wave will be eight meters you don't want eight meters so if you're gonna do uh, uh, I'm only giving the example of a car because it's a short run uh, so it up to the mag mount from the PL off the radio will be 2 meters 0.1 or uh, 2 meters 180 millimeters or 2180 millimeters <coughs> uh, if you want air wave if it's too short uh, don't add on a bit you you prefer to multiply by 2 times 2 equals 4 so on mini 8 of course the velocity factor is a lot 80 percent so instead of a 3 meter whip uh, patch lead you would have up to the antenna a 4.3 4.3 uh, patch lead up to uh, the antenna mount or uh, the, if you're using uh, a mag mount you have to cut 4.3 uh, meters of uh, cable uh, and that's to have resonance on half wave um, <clears throat> why do we do that the explanation is uh, of course uh, uh, the signal that comes out of your radio is an AC signal on a frequency and uh, you want to catch the wave on the same spot so uh, it will alternate between negative and positive so you kind of want resonance like antennas they have a full wave, 5 8, a quarter of wave, F wave <clears throat> uh, pay attention I cannot confirm this uh, it's only by knowledge that I've gathered and um, <coughs> it's how you cut cable uh, the same applies to your uh, own base setup I can uh, go through the through the formula it will be hold on a second uh, two nine nine point eight this which is uh two thousand nine hundred and ninety eight point uh, uh, uh ninety nine point eight uh thousand kilometers per second <coughs> uh, divided by the frequency times the velocity factor times uh the uh, um, uh, the 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 wave a quarter of wave of the cable or uh, it will be multiplied by uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.50 or by 1 if you want a full wavelength <clears throat> and that's how uh, radio amps and uh, CB, CB users with a bit of knowledge used to cut their uh, coax in the 80s uh, I hope it helps uh, <coughs> Like I said, uh, the secret uh, of a good antenna is not uh, the money that you spend on it, is the location of it. <laughs> uh, the secret of cable, uh, to be honest, I've always believed of this secret. Uh, <laughs> it's not a secret, if you research you'll probably find it, because it's old knowledge. Uh, but uh, that's what I do in my all my setups. I hope you enjoy. Uh, enjoy the video it was kind of discussing antennas and uh, coax uh, very important a very important thing uh, on a radio setup you want the antenna uh, system to be totally resonant so you get the maximum performance 
a vet. I'm not going to make it boring. I'm only going to say bye bye and uh, I, I love you all, the ones that uh, <laughs> watch the videos. There's plenty of people and uh, the subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. This uh, video is for you guys, uh, my pack of coyotes. Okay, bye bye. Take care and uh, uh, see you later.